wardens, aren't you? The tower, it's been taken. What are you talking about, man? Taken how? The Darkspawn came up through the lower chambers. They're everywhere. Most of our men are dead. Then we have to get to the beacon and light it ourselves. What do we do now?
It is begun. What are these Darkspawn doing ahead of the rest of the Horde? There wasn't supposed to be any resistance here. <laughs> hey, you're right. I guess there is a silver lining here if you think about it. At any rate, we need to hurry. We need to get up to the top of the tower and light the signal fire in time. Taron Loghain will be waiting for the signal. Oh, my God. 
be done. Very well. Gain better be ready to charge as soon as we light the signal. The king is depending on us.
signal. Let's light it quickly before it's too late. Your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. You were injured and then Mother rescued you. Do you not remember? Mother managed to save you and your friend, though it was a close call. What is important is that you both live. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. The suspicious dim-witted one who was with you before, yes. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. I will stay and make something to eat.
Ritchie, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You... you're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. Duncan's dead. The Grey Wardens. Even the King. They're all... dead. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name? Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? Must I? Age and power are relative. It depends on who is asking. Compared to you? Yes, on both counts. Then why didn't you save Duncan? He is was our leader. I am sorry for your Duncan, but your grief must come later, in the dark shadows before you take vengeance, as my mother once said. Duty must come now. It has always been the Grey Warden's duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? But we were fighting the Darkspawn. The King had nearly defeated them. Why would Loghain do this? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. All Grey Wardens in Ferelden are gone. Except for us. I've lost everyone. For the love of the Maker, don't back out on me now. Then we have to do something. I won't let their deaths be in vain. But I can't do anything on my own. It is said that long ago, the Maker sent the old gods of the ancient Tevinter Imperium to slumber in prisons deep beneath the surface. An archdemon is an old god awakened and tainted by Darkspawn. Believe that or not, history says it's a fearsome and immortal thing, and only fools ignore history. By ourselves? No Grey Warden has ever defeated a Blight without the army of a half-dozen nations at his back. Not to mention... I don't know how. How to kill the Archdemon, or how to raise an army? It seems to me those are two different questions, hmm? Have the Wardens no allies these days? I... I, I, I don't know. Duncan said that the Grey Wardens of Orlais had been called, and Arl Eamon would never stand for this, surely. I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the landsmeet. 
Of course! We could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Of course! The treaties! Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. Now, before you go, there is yet one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Pardon me, but I had the impression that you two needed assistance, whatever the form. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite Ferelden against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens. Do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. Allow me to get my things, if you please. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. <laughs> you will regret saying that. Dear sweet mother, you are so kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? I guess you're right. The Grey Wardens have always taken allies where they could find them. I am so pleased to have your approval. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. Bah! <laughs> Tis far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the Blight. I... All I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear.
shall be done. And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent, and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Bantegan, please! Your Majesty. Your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Antigon, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, Your Majesty? Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. I guess that fellow is the leader. Uh, they don't look much like them others. You know, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the Darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Now, is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. What did I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still gotta pay. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. Did he say he's a Grey Warden? Them ones killed the king. Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. Turn Loghain put quite a bounty on any who are found. But are them Grey Wardens good? I mean, really good? Good enough to kill a king? You have a point. Well, let's forget about the toll. We'll just leave you to your darkspawn fighting, king-killing ways. And just when we had things settled... Before the dog spawn get us all. Yes, I am a criminal. I admit it. I apologize. I'm not going down without a fight. As you said, first. Don't give them 
Shall be done. Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah, so you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Very creepy. Forget I asked. His navel, I suspect. He certainly has been contemplating it for long enough. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. He was out scouting in the wilds, wasn't he? That's what the king said. Then attempting to look for him there would be foolish. He is either dead or he managed to flee to the north. Very sensitive. I am simply saying that it is foolish to mount a rescue when you have no notion where this man is and the wilds are overrun with Darkspawn. You will either find him somewhere outside the wilds with other survivors or not at all. Well, we'll need to decide eventually. Let's head into the village when you're ready. I brought my family to Lothring because I thought it would be safe. So let's talk about your, your mother. mother. Really I'd, like to I'd rather pack. talk about your mother. Well, there's nothing to talk about. And besides, isn't your Please. mother a scary came witch to get away away from the the forest. searching for some holy so artifact? For you, perhaps, you would find the moss growing to upon a stone interesting. You know what's more interesting than that? You there. If you're looking... Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around. And we Templars can barely keep order. You'll be better off elsewhere, my friend. Best of luck wherever you might go. We were lucky. We had the coin to pay the toll As if for those we fans. needed more fighting here. Truly Don't you see how scared everyone is? Dead. We're all going to die. Back off. I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. It warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? Didn't I mention profit? He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. His only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger. I've a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. Would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their very last coin because they are desperate, and this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Ah, 
I'm not arguing anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. Maker's breath. Sometimes it's truly not worth operating this far south. Just charge what you would have before this tragedy. Fine, yes. Just stop complaining. You're giving me a headache. So, we have come to solve every squabble in the village personally. My, but the Darkspawn will be impressed. Thank you for your generous assistance. May the Maker watch over your path. Ah, the charming As you board. Said. Yes, let us run errands for the betterment. And Eileen spoke unto the masses. My hearth is yours, my bread is yours, my life is yours. For all who walk in the sight of the Maker are one. <laughs> Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. He can't answer you. He's chanted Devons. One of them that can only say the chant of light. His board has letters of good deeds to be doing. My father fixed Widow Allison's roof once, and the charter paid him, he did. A learned child is a blessing upon his parents and onto the Maker. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Greetings to you, good sir. If it isn't too much to ask, might you spare some bread or... or anything? We thought it would be safer in Lothering, that the Terran would bring his soldiers here. But bandits attacked us and took everything. Our food, our clothes, my daughter's pet lamb. Nobody cares about a few elves. Can you help us? You killed them? That's wonderful news. Perhaps our belongings are still there. I can't thank you enough, friend. Even if we don't get everything back, it's... It's good to know others will be safe. Mother! Mother! Have you seen my mother? Nobody will help me find her. Why can't I find her? So tell me something, Morrigan. Did you live there in that forest your entire life? I left it on occasion, but I always return. Why? Is that so strange? It was my home. Oh. But it was just you and your mother there. No one else. Mother occasionally had company. I have a wonder, Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have as, a choice? As if we oh, brother, needed more fight here. Yeah. That remain, I do not have the fellow who runs us mine as hard. I find it curious that you allow another to lead while you not have come through Don't you see how much cares everyone is? None of them stopped In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey Wardens? Or simply a personal one? What do you want to hear? That I prefer to follow? I do. Master Felleron runs us mine as hard. Did you speak to that knight yesterday? Said he was from Redcliffe. He talked to everyone in the tavern. How are we supposed to know where the... Greetings, Maker's Blood. Best be careful. Greetings, me. You might not want to go in. Tavern's full, and those soldiers are being a nuisance. They're not here to defend us. They were looking for someone before they started drinking. I hear they almost killed a man because they didn't like his face. I wonder if they're deserters from the King's army. Is there any reason to be happy? With the King dead, them Darkspawn will overrun Lothering before anyone can organize. You'd think those soldiers could at least run off the bandits. I hear someone gave them what they deserved. Wasn't you, was it? It was? Hey, everyone! This is the one who drove out those thieving bastards! More will probably come, but it's good to know some justice is left here. Thank you. I brought my family to As Lothering because I thought... What happens to us here? now that the king is Don't dead? Don't you see how scared everyone is?
Are you here to make my head ache, or do you actually want to buy something? It isn't much, but take a look if you want. Thank you. 